It is an alarming number. At least 80 people were murdered in the Arab Society of Israel this year alone. Behind every of these stories, scattered families, grief, and the inability to comprehend, the inability to understand how the state does not crack down on the violence, as only a small number of the cases get solved in the end. He was 16 years old. Mahmoud was murdered under our house. Mahmoud was shot. I was at the emergency sector in the hospital when I received my son's body. Do you know how hard it is to receive your son's body? Either it be the police or the government or the state. What did they do for the society, which is dying? I am here since we are connected in the despair. Jews and Arabs that live together. I grew up in Metzer, which is where Jews and Arabs live together in Wadi Ara. Even more Arabs than Jews. We live through the violence that goes on in the Arab sector. At times, I sit on my porch and call the police, since the Arabs won't contact the police as they're afraid that they will get hurt. So for me, I have Baka's police contact info saved onto my phone. They call me for help. The Arab kids that grow up in these areas grow up in fear. Their mothers live in fear since the death or murder can come. It's just asking for it. Many feel like the new right-wing government and National Security Minister Itama Benvi don't care about the crime in the Arab street. That's why private organizations and supporters came out to the streets today in a convoy from villages in the north to the Israeli parliament in Jerusalem to make their voices heard and their presence shown. If we want to talk about this year, out of 80 murders, there are only six cases. If we talk about the last year, there were 110 murders and only 23% of the cases were solved. Families lose their sons and have to suffer the consequences, yet the murderer is free. If we look at the numbers, each year there are approximately 90 murderers that go freely in society and live normal lives. There is zero trust in the police because the police do not contact the families of murder victims. The police do not update the families on the murder cases, nor do they take them for further investigation. And because of this, the families lose their trust in the police. Our demands are very clear. We want uh, the crime uh, to end. We want the police to act immediately against the organized crime and to collect all the weapons that are distributed in our society. It will be a long way and will take political measures and the restoration of trust in state institutions to stop the downward spiral of violence and murder in the Arab streets. But people here think that it is possible. Piaz Dekelbach reporting for I-24 News from Jerusalem.